Oh, a phone call. I can only imagine what kind of charity race this could be. Yep. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Alrighty. Charity race. Fucking joy. At Lowe's. We've already done one there. Kind of feel like those are kind of useless now. They don't give you money. And we've already upgraded our skills to the point where we need them to be. So I think we're just going to start skipping those. I do think we're going to start skipping those. Larson with the best lap at this track, even though he probably hasn't done anything to warrant a top 10. So, whatever the hell he's doing behind the wheel, you know. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Well, John Wood's starting first. Paul Menard isn't. He is way outside the top five. Holy shit. Menard. 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 Where is he? There he is. Fucking ninth. He's on the inside, which is a damn shame, but he is not in first, which means he's not getting points, which means I could maybe catch up to him. Unlikely as it may be at this rate. Oh, okay. Well, we'll try our best, I guess. And I'll be sure to draft with people this time around. We can't do that at such short tracks, but when we're at these places, we really can. Why is JJ Yale a fucking ally? Every single time these games make me friends with JJ Yale, even though I shouldn't be. I should never have been in the first place. It was never meant to be, JJ. We just didn't we just didn't operate on the same wavelength. We're just not good enough for each other, you know? I'm too good for you, you're not even close to good enough for me, you know? We're just inherently flawed to be together. We can't do it. We simply can't. It is not a thing that is possible. I don't have any teammates on this car, which is an annoyance, but at least I don't have any teammate requirements to frickin' pass and all that shit, so... Is this not broken yet? Looks to be the case. Perfect. All right. Hey, Casey Mears is all the way to the inside. Well, I will be sure to help out the line that Casey Mears is in. We just need to keep the car's engine intact to keep this contract. So we just need to make sure that I don't flip the thing over and blow up into a thousand pieces and all that good shit. Why are these guys blocking me? They're such assholes. Don't block me down the back front whatever stretch this is. Unless you're Casey Mears, in which case I will help you out. And this is exactly fucking why you don't block me. Whore. I guess we'll take the outside lane. And then do this. So that we don't fucking lock horns and never not lock horns, you know? Is Sam Hornish Jr. in the Cup Series in this game? I don't remember. I don't think he ever ever drove a car this style in the Cup Series, but I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. You never know. You never know. Let's draft with him, eh? See how that works out in the end. Wow, he's incredibly slow. Okay, never mind. And now he's as fast as me. Fuck. Can't keep up with the ever-changing landscape of this racetrack. Speaking of ever-changing landscape, they might not actually repave the land anymore. That makes me very sexually satisfied. Truex is right up there. He's not the guy I need to pass, though. We have t we have two laps to make up like ten spots right now, so that's great. That is just great. And I think I see Menard, but I don't think I'm going to get past him. No matter how hard I try. Okay. Five to give, three to go, two to go. I can't count. Oh! Hate this game. I hate it. Hate it. I'm gonna have to redo this championship, aren't I? This is worse than cheating the douchebags. Okay, he's all the way on the bottom, so I'm gonna help everyone except for Menard here. And hopefully I can do something about it. Go with the line that Menard is not. Okay, here's Truex, I'll help him out. Okay, I'm, I'm just focusing this entirety of this last lap. And Kane's blocking me, fine. Okay, okay, look at all these spots I'm gaining, okay. 
And so much for all those spots. Then. I don't think Intimidator works in this game like it used to, because sometimes you could actually make them spin out if you're intimidating them. But as we saw with Clint Boyer and the endless intimidating that I was doing with him, um, he never spun out, so... Yeah. It's an annoyance, to say the least. Yeah, the car's a little loose, crew chief. What does it look like, huh? What does it look like? Well, I made it to 12th. That's pretty impressive. Unfortunately, Menard made it up to, like, fucking 5th. So, that's just great. Unreal. Even with a not first place finish, I'm still losing points to the fucking douchebag. Cheating Mick. Cheating Mick douchebag. I'm gonna get to level 10. I'm just realizing it. You get all these on the charge points even when you don't even make it to the top 10. Unbelievable, this shit. Look at this fucking moping. I don't even have any teammates to freaking talk to at the end of this shit. Kyle Larson's life is just in shambles at this point. In shambles. And no Boyer. Well, that's just lovely. I'm starting to think that it was just an illusion. It was all a dream. I didn't actually have rival races in the past. It was all just a dream. It was all just a dream. Never actually happened. It was a myth. A fantasy, a story, weaved by a jester of sorts. I can't imagine how far back in points I am now. Oh, it's 274. Could have actually gained points on him in that race if my car wasn't a fiery piece of shit. Let's see if there's any possible upgrades. Anything at all that could make it better. Nope. Well, I could reduce the tire wear. Yay. Yeah. That's gonna make such a difference. That's gonna make such a difference. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Fuck you. Anyway. Cali in the Cup Series. See, this race is gonna prove that I don't need to upgrade this car ever. I could probably make it up to the top five without even, you know, coming close to difficulty. And this, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, that's just how it be, well, that's just how it is, I can't believe it, I am just so surprised, what the hell is happening in this TV, you can't see it though, you just can't see it, crazy shit happens on my screen, and you can't even see it, you can't even see it, come on Casey Mears, what is your problem, you're not this bad, God damn it, NASCAR developers. Why do you make Casey Mears this bad? He is not this bad. He's not even bad. He's just mediocre. Why do you make him so bad? He and Jeff Green are equally mediocre. Why in the world is Jeff Green so great in this game and Casey Mears isn't? Why did it make Ricky Rudd so bad in this game too, for that matter? Ricky Rudd's a freaking boss. What's he doing not doing good? Look at this. Gonna be pushing him to the lead here. You know, the lead of 36 position, you know. You know, you know, I think you know. Well, now I understand how Truex is in the 20s in the standings, and this is where he is in most races. It all makes sense. It's like I'm learning. Oh, it's like I'm learning. Oh. Nicholas Cage! Oh. Ken's at in this position here. I don't fucking wonder they wanted me to replace him in that one race, so this is how bad he's doing. Well, it looks like we're gonna be drafted with Robbie Gordon in this situation. And there's Gilliland in first, Boyer in second. Great. There goes frickin' David Gillen being the top tier fucking driver in the world. World, 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 world. And there's Almond there. I didn't know his rookie year was in 07. Honestly, I didn't know that. I didn't even think there was a second Red Bull car for the majority of the races, was there? But did he just run like a partial schedule in 07? He couldn't have run a full schedule. 
because Scott Speed was in the 82 in 2009, which was the other Red Bull car. But Almendinger's in the 84. But there wasn't an 84, was there? Because Casey Kane was in the 4 for Red Bull Race. It was just a, such a conglomeration of shit, dude. Those years, man. Those years in particular. Those years in particular. And if Ken Schrader's doing this good, but frickin' uh, um, Ricky Rudd isn't, that's some bullshit. That is just some bullshit. There's no two ways about it. It's just some bullshit. And I think I know what the problem is here. Okay, so we, we discovered that Greg Biffle is not in this game. Anyway. And, um, in a way. In a way. Not anyway. In a way. Greg Biffle does not run these races. And, um, I think the problem was is that I was supposed to, like, be for the 21s. Because there's two 21s in this game. And there was, and I think the idea was that they were supposed to have only one in career mode, but they accidentally set that status to not Ken Schrader and instead gave it to Clint, not Clint, uh, Biffle. Wow, could I have done this the entire time in the Xfinity race and gained all these spots? Because I swear. All right, let's intimidate Boyer so that stays high. Do do do. Dale Jarrett's in the lead right now. That's the situation. Uh, that's where we made it. And we're only halfway through this race, and look at where we are compared to frickin' the Nationwide Series. Well, that made him... Oh, shit. Sorry, Paul! Uh, I'm flying. I didn't mean for this to happen, Paul. Please forgive me. What a shit show of a corner that was. Look at this shit. Unreal. Oh, wow, he got a lot of damage. He's probably gonna have to pit to fix that. Well, that is unfortunate. This is what I should have done in the Nationwide Series. Oh, he didn't pit. Never mind. I just wanted to make sure that Boyer was still my enemy. Because when he hit me down the down the, down the backstretch, he made his rivalry go down. So, wanted to change that for the better. Unfortunately, Paul Menard got caught up in everything, so... And somehow Dale Jarrett lost two spots in that corner. So he's probably not going to win this race, annoyingly. Excuse me, Paul. We're, we're still... You still had the ally on top of your freaking head. Don't you be blocking me like that, freaking shady bitch. How fucking dare he. Now we're starting to get loose. Foot loose. Everybody get foot loose, sliding your tires down the back. You know something? Um, when okay, so today this yeah yeah like I said it's like gonna be a blizzard warning for the next two days even though it's spring break la di da. Um, so the thing is, um, this this we're literally on the brink of it being snow and not rain. We're like 29 degrees outside right now. So, when uh, when it starts to stick on the road, it's really, really fucking slick. So you can just turn in to a corner going 20 miles an hour and drift the shit out of it. I fucking did that and I nailed a drift twice. It was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome, but I nearly killed myself on the fucking highway trying to not fucking drift everywhere. It was annoying as fuck. Come on, Casey Mears. Do do something. Are they just? Are, did they just? You know, follow you for no reason. Do they just always, always say that they will follow you. Please tell me that that was not Casey Mears that just brought out this caution trying to follow me. It's probably Paul. 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 Paul the dog. Yeah, it's Paul. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter to me. Oh, I don't give a shit. Now this race is never gonna end. I may as well just bring out the caution so that it will end now. The car is loose enough for me to spin myself out with, without probably losing maybe two positions at most. So once we get down the back stretch, I probably can do that. Let's try it out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nailed it! So 
Somehow I lost a spot, but whatever. I nailed it. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I nailed that ending race caution. Perfection. Wow. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Brought a tear to my eye. That was such a beaut. That ah, was such a beaut. That was such a beaut. Huh, yuck, 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 yuck. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what. There's Jimmy again. So I assume Boyer's gonna attack me like a rabid dog and Jimmy's not even gonna be close to me to help out. Hello? Boyer, I dare you to come at me. Well, yep, told you. Jimmy does not defend my honor. What a cunt. Well, now we're fighting again. Maybe, just maybe, there will be a freaking whatchamacallit race. Maybe. Even though it never happened in the last session, maybe it'll happen now. Maybe it just, maybe the game just needs to reset for it to remember, oh yeah, there's rival races in this game. No new emails. What a surprise. What a fucking surprise that that's not the case. I am, I'm just stunned. I am shocked, I say. Shocked. I stand before you amazed. Anyway. Stat tist ticks. And we're not good in any of these series. Any of them, none of them whatsoever we are good in. Things are looking down. Look at things are looking not okay. We're going to Richmond, which is problematic to say the least. Yes, I know. Fuck it. Richmond's one of those short tracks like Toyota Raceway and the trucks where I couldn't necessarily get all of the positions that I could get out of it. You know, Bristol's the only one, I'm just realizing. Bristol's really the only one that works that way. Everything else is just a pile of shit. So what are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Bernie Sanders is a lot less fun to talk about now that he fucking conceded. What a damn fine shame. Ah, bitch! Bitch! Fucking! Nigeria! Is a country where people of African descent come from.